have something in common is that we hate dealing with emails from spam emails to emails that may, you might get from your friends and the best way to deal with emails is definitely on the desktop but mobile apps are catching up fast and if you have any hope of getting to inbox zero there's only one that's going to help you do it so this is my ultimate email app a good email app has to be able to load emails quickly, but not only that, it has to be able to reply, delete, archive and even schedule emails with just a few swipes or taps. It should also have a great design, not only that it looks good so that it's very easy to use. On iOS, the app that we recommend that does all this and then some is Outlook. You can do so much on this app that it almost feels like you're using a desktop version of Outlook, but then you're only using your phone. Like most email apps out there, Outlook has quick swipe options for archiving and scheduling emails. You can also customize these to do just about anything else. But the best thing that Outlook does that other emails app can't is it integrates your calendars and your files from different services and you don't even have to leave the app to use them. That also means that you can do things like sync all the files you sent to a particular person or quickly attach files that you don't even have on your phone. You can even accept calendar invites without even loading up a message. Outlook does all the hard work for you. Now on Android, it's a different story, don't get me wrong, Outlook is pretty great on Android, but it can't beat how quick and simple Google's native Gmail client is. Not only is it probably the most beautiful but also fast, Gmail offers actionable notifications on Android so you can do things like mark emails of red without even needing to leave other apps. Outlook is pretty good on Android but it's just slower than Gmail and it's a lot buggier than the iOS version. Unlike the iOS Unlike with iOS, Android is a lot more of a level playing field when it comes to email apps, so it will be worth your time to actually look around and see some of the options. Boxer has a really fast app that lets you do things like add emails to a to-do list and send them to Evernote, and the My Mail app has some cute animation and its side but offers the quickest way to switch between accounts. Mailbox, mailboxes, mailboxes design is even better on Android, but if you're gonna Mailbox's design is even better on Android, but if you're afraid you're going to delete important emails, you're probably going to have to look somewhere else. TypeMail has a powerful app too, with quick account switching and access to a task list, but the design is cluttered and the way it loads emails is just counterintuitive. Reaching Inbox Zero might seem like a fantasy for most of us, and for most of us it is, but using apps like Outlook and Gmail might get us as close as possible. So that has been it for this video guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.